Hi, I'm Rebecca from Berry's Wine School and today we're looking at Pinot Noir and Shiraz. There are firm fans out there for Pinot Noir and Shiraz. Pinot Noir, we're looking of what for wine of immense elegance. In Shiraz, we're looking for rich, full-bodied, really smooth red wine. We're starting with Pinot Noir. Now the spiritual homeland of Pinot Noir is Burgundy in France. And we're also noticing fantastic Pinot Noir coming from New Zealand. Let's start with the Pinot Noir from Burgundy. Now notice both Burgundy and New Zealand are very cool climate areas and that's what the Pinot Noir loves. It's actually a bit of an opera diva, this Pinot Noir grape. If it's not treated with perfect uh, manners and etiquette and weather patterns, it actually becomes a disaster as a wine. It can be too jammy or it can be too green and stalky. So it really is a holy grail for the wine grower to produce the perfect Pinot Noir fruit. On the nose you're looking for rich summer strawberries and raspberries which is coming through perfectly on this burgundy and then on the palate you're looking for lovely high acidity. I'm a great fan of acidity as I'm sure you've been noticing throughout the series but again you're looking for this lovely little delicate strawberry and raspberry fruit. It's a wine of elegance. There isn't going to be any real clinch of tannin. It just must be a lovely framework that you hardly notice. Let's try this one. Mmm. Fabulous. That's everything I'm looking for. It's got beautiful acidity. It's got really lovely, tingly strawberry and raspberry fruit. It's quite medium bodied and it's got lovely, lovely finish through of flavours just resonating in my palate. That's going to be fabulous with food. I would say with that acidity, that's the key to making it a great food wine. Now, let's look at the New Zealand one. New Zealand, yes, a maritime climate, uh, quite far south. Remember, in the southern hemisphere, the cooler we get. But actually, they have a fantastic way of really training the fruit to get the perfect aspect for the sun. So you've got lovely ripeness in the glass. It's a much more velvety style of Pinot Noir. So you've got sort of heavier strawberries, raspberries, maybe a few black fruits in there. And the fruit um, is so pungent, they can just give it a touch of vanilla, just a tiny touch, meaning it's been in oak. The other thing people love about Pinot Noir is it starts to develop these slightly mushroom, barnyardy characteristics. And this one is getting those perfectly. On the palate, mmm. That's fabulous. That's going to have a lot of fans. It's really rich and velvety. There's acidity to refresh, but it's got that unctuous, velvety finish that um, is extremely agreeable. Now, let's move on to Shiraz here. Shiraz, its other name is Syrah. It's exactly the same grape variety. Spiritual homeland of Syrah is in France. Um, and Australia has made a fantastic success of the same grape variety and they often call it Shiraz there. Now, Syrah loves to be in hot climates, so you won't find Syrah growing close to Pinot Noir ever. Remember, Pinot Noir, cool climate, Syrah, hot climate. And so uh, the Rhone Valley is where you'll find the Syrah in France. And this is a grape variety that has a very thick skin and lots of pigments in the, in the skin. So you'll see that this wine is a much richer color, a deeper color than the Pinot Noirs. And that's because of the skin and the thickness of it. The Pinot Noir is very elegant, strawberry fruit. The Shiraz you're looking for, black fruits. Perhaps a little bit of pencil shaving, a little bit of pepper. This Croze Hermitage, which is a commune in the Rhone Valley, is coming up with lovely spice pencil shavings mm, and juicy blackberry fruits. This is very promising indeed. Mm, 
a much fuller bodied wine than a Pinot Noir. It's richer, it's heavier on the palate. It's got this fantastic array of tannin really supporting, really cradling that rich fruit. Now I'm talking about richness in this wine, but we're now going to move to the Barossa Valley in Australia, a much hotter climate, and they really do specialize in Shiraz here. So if you're the, the person who loves full-bodied, rich red wine, this is possibly the mecca for you. Wow. Now, I would even say I smell chocolate on the nose there, as well as all the spices. That is absolutely... I can't describe how exciting that is. Mm. It's much fuller body. It's got really tangy black currant fruits, it's got really tangy blackberry fruits and again there's just that little bit of spice which makes me think yes it's had a little bit of oak treatment. Now our chef has prepared some smoked duck breast and I think this will be a fabulous match. Uh, these gamey flavours will be perfect for our Pinot Noirs. I think maybe these gamey flavours are too delicate for the Shiraz. The Shiraz can take something like venison, that would be a perfect match. So why don't you go and enjoy different types of Pinot Noir, different types of Shiraz, and have fun comparing and contrasting. See you next time when we look at Spanish varieties Tempranillo and Italian varieties Nebbiolo and Sangiovese. Enjoy!